Hello friends. Good evening. Let me discuss the feature that is introduced by the OCA which is stock MTS plus MTO rule. Firstly, we will discuss how UDU default works and then we will understand that how this feature will enhance our business cases. In any trading business, we have the two kind of the business, MTO or MTS, make to order or make to stop. Make to order will be work when there is a demand from the customer and the purchase order will be triggered based on the demand. And make to stop, it will be help to create the reordering rule and the replenishment. Here, let's understand firstly how Udo default works. I have created one product. Let me go through the product, which is product B is there. This is storable product. In the inventory, we have set buy plus our make to order. And let me save this. So here, let me add the vendor also. I have add the vendor all the configuration is set now the sell order will be created this is the MTO we are selecting our customer our product is B and there is a demand for the 10 quantity as I will confirm the sales order the purchase order will be triggered and let's check the purchase order it will be triggered for the 10 quantity which is the demand from the customer itself and we are going to confirm it and the receipt is there and we are doing the validate and delivery we are going to validate the delivery also now this scenario is done for the MTO now we are going to understand the second scenario we have that product B and I'm going to manually add the quantity of for this particular product so let mention the quantity of that product is the 10 here, based on that, we are going to we are going to demonstrate two more cases. On hand quantity is 10. Now there is a sales order. The customer for the demand. The customer is there. The product B is there. And there is a demand for the three quantity. Here the quantity is the less than the on hand quantity. And we are going to confirm it. So here there is no any purchase order is triggered because the demand quantity is less than the on hand quantity delivery is generated now I am doing the same test case but here the quantity are 15 so if I am going to confirm that purchase order will trigger with that 15 quantity here the demand is 15 so purchase order is triggered for the 15 quantity still we have 10 quantity is on hand but Udo based on the behavior it will create the purchase order for the 15 now let's look into this module how it will be useful for some business cases i have installed this module and i have activated that module let me open this i have installed this and let's configure based on this module itself based on that in the warehouse we are getting the configuration for this use mto plus mts rule let me activate this now we have activated this rule for this particular warehouse itself. Now let me go through the another product. And let's repeat the whole test case which we have created for the product B. Now I am going to create product C which is the storable. In the inventory now buy is there but we are going to use make to order plus make to stock. This route is activated because of that module. I am going to add the vendor for the same. Configuration is full set. Now let's trigger the sales order. Here currently no any on hand quantity for that product C. Here as we have repeated product C. There is a demand for the 5. We are just going to confirm. Purchase order will be triggered for that 5 quantity. Here we can see that purchase order will be triggered for the 5 quantity and we are going to confirm. And the receipt is generated and we have validated for that product C. Now I am manually updating the quantity for product C. Let me deliver this product so everything will be work perfectly. So let me go through our quotations. Work order, product C, delivery is there and let me validate. So now product C has no any quantity. 
Now manually I am updating the quantity for that product C. So let me make it as a 10. Let's make a purchase order. Let's make a sorry sales order for the less than quantity of that on hand quantity. We are selecting our customer. Product C is there. The quantity is 5. We are just going to confirm. And as usual, delivery is created for that 5 quantity. Now, the product C has 5 quantity on hand. Now, we are going to create the sales order for 7 quantity. So, let me create, let me duplicate this sales order. We are going to make it as a 7 and we are going to confirm. In the UDU default behavior, the purchase order will be triggered for the 7 quantity. But here, what happens? When we are going to confirm it, the purchase order will be triggered, but it will not be for the 7 quantity. It will be only for the 2 quantity. Here, this module works because that product has already 5 quantity. So, UDU has triggered the purchase order for that remaining quantity, which is the 2 only. So, just we are going to confirm. So, here it will trigger the purchase order for the leftover quantity. So, thank you. This feature might be useful for UDU consultant or end user to configure the based on the requirement. Thank you.